you've been pretty cautious all, all of last year, really, on the Fed hikes and the, the economic forecast. Are you telling your clients anything different to do right now? I think that the big thing that's changed, Sarah, is that it's 2023, not 2022. And although for all of us, having gone through one of the worst years in the history of being an investor, it's really tempting to want to collectively exhale and start to lean into markets and think positively. Now, you were just talking about the optimism that's been fueling the last couple of days of trading, the beginning of the year. And mind you, we are almost exactly a year out from the historical high on January 3rd last year. And that's based in the steep decline we saw in the, the ISM number, the early signs of moderating inflation, most specifically and most important, the hourly earnings. That is moderating. Mm -hmm. But as you said, it is just, it's completely at odds with what the Fed is messaging to us. And so while I came on a number of months ago and said, unfortunately, I think it's early for a pivot party, I think it's still too early for a pivot party. I think investors, it's great to be optimistic. And I think we're going to have more clarity through the next earnings cycle and through the next two Federal Reserve and so CPI prints. But markets and investors are famously fickle and fragile. And I think that staying mm -hmm. defensive, yeah. building cash, leaning into quality right now with a shopping list is the way to go. So let's talk about then what the strategy should be. Should you, should you still be leaning defensively? And if so, what does that look like? Is it cash? Is it utilities? What do you like? So first of all, I think when you look at fixed income, I think you have to put cash now because of the level of returns in the shape of the yield curve in that bucket. And so if you are a, you know, an ideal with largely extraordinarily taxable investors, and you can get the kind of rates, especially state and local tax free that you can right now for short term treasury paper, that's super interesting. And it buys you some time to see what happens and what happens with credit spreads in the market. In addition, on the active sort of looking for equity exposure, we led you led the segment talking about healthcare more in consumer right. discretionary. But when you're talking about healthcare, there's a place you can hopefully have your cake and eat it too. We're talking about from a demographic perspective, if one of the fastest growing defensive sectors there is, from a valuations perspective. Up, uh, almost up, yeah. Oh, ahead. sorry, what were just, you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say relative to both the broader market and to other defensives, it's still undervalued. And so that's a place you can lean in during what might be a potential deceleration and recession, but also even into all the positive that we're going to see, hopefully at the end of 2023 and beyond. Allie McCartney, thank you very much.